Alcohol consumption can have a significant impact on your sleep and snoring habits. It doesn't matter if you guzzle the whole glass or just take a few sips. Any amount can affect your sleep. So before you head to bed, consider how much alcohol you've had to drink. If you're looking to avoid snoring and get better sleep, it's best to abstain from drinking altogether. If you must drink, limit yourself to one drink in the evening so your body has time to metabolize the alcohol before you go to bed. In this video, I'll explore the connection between alcohol and snoring in more detail. Why does alcohol make you snore more? Drinking alcohol near bedtime can have a significant impact on the amount that you snore. When you drink alcohol, it relaxes the jaw and throat muscles, which can cause your air passages to become restricted or blocked. This blockage in the airway can cause the tissue in your throat to vibrate as breathing becomes forced. Air must pass through a limited space leading to alcohol-induced snoring. In addition, alcohol consumption can interfere with your sleep patterns, making it more challenging to get a good night's rest. Alcohol also dehydrates your body and can lead to a dry mouth and throat. A dry throat is more likely to vibrate, causing you to snore louder. According to study findings published in Otolaryngology Head and Neck Surgery, consumption of alcohol is associated with increased severe snoring altered sleep patterns in a select group, lower oxygen saturation, and obstructive sleep apnea. Alcohol and REM sleep. Alcohol is a central nervous system depressant. While a night of deep sleep is certainly something we all strive for, alcohol can make a person sleep too deeply. Some will experience drunk snoring even on snores. The consequence of alcohol-induced sleep is that your brain and body become less aware of breathing patterns and the muscle control of the mouth and throat, which can lead to greater incidence of snoring throughout the night. Although alcohol may help people fall asleep more quickly, it disrupts the normal sleep cycle and reduces the amount of time spent in REM sleep, the deepest stage of sleep. REM sleep is when we dream and our eyes move rapidly. It's a crucial stage of sleep when our bodies rest and repair. It's also essential for memory and learning. Additionally, alcohol consumption can lead to morning grogginess and make it difficult to wake up feeling refreshed and well rested. Thus, it's best to avoid drinking alcohol before bed if you hope to get a good night's sleep. Alcohol, the circadian rhythm, and snoring. The human body runs on a 24-hour cycle commonly known as the circadian rhythm. This internal clock regulates everything from hormone production to sleep patterns. The 24-hour cycle is controlled by a master clock in the brain, and it helps determine when we feel sleepy or awake. Although the circadian rhythm is designed to keep us on a regular sleep schedule, it can be easily thrown off by alcohol. Although a glass of red wine may seem like a good way to relax before bed, Alcohol stimulates regular brain activity. This can make it difficult to fall asleep, and it can also lead to restless sleep. In addition, alcohol can interfere with the body's natural melatonin production, further disrupting the circadian rhythm. As a result, it's best to avoid alcohol before bed if you're planning to maintain a healthy sleep schedule. Overall, snoring and alcohol consumption are related in that alcohol can make your body more prone to snoring through muscle relaxation and deeper sleep. While it may be challenging to give up your nightcap, there are certainly benefits to limiting alcohol consumption before bedtime. Instead, incorporate more natural relaxation techniques like breathing exercises, yoga, or different sleep positions in your sleep routine to prepare your body and mind for rest. If your partner complains about your snoring, or you continue to experience it, even after you stop drinking, it's best to see a doctor for a sleep test. There are many potential causes of snoring, and alcohol is just one of them. If you're struggling to stop snoring, there are effective treatments for snoring and sleep apnea available. Don't hesitate to speak with your doctor about your options.